survivors of Sudan's civil war struggle with their new life in America in The Good Lie. Reese Witherspoon is there to support Quebec director Philippe Falardeau's follow-up to Monsieur Lazare. From the Toronto International Film Festival, this is Red Carpet Diary. Our names are on that list. <laughs> yes, hello, this is Carrie. Pick up who? I'm just supposed to help them find jobs. I hadn't really known a lot about it other than a 60 Minutes piece that was very um, popular. So they sent that to me with the script. And uh, I just thought she did a great job of sort of blending these two worlds, the, the idea of these people coming to America and what it was like for these young children traveling across Africa during the war. So many people have heard of the Lost Boys of Sudan, but they've never really known the details of their journey and how incredible it is. It's, it's the true coming to America story. Carrie Davis is based on several women that I met that worked with the kids who, like, they wouldn't leave them alone and then they got into their lives and in various cities where the boys have gone they have these amazing women that have come to the forefront to help them through big steps in life all flights from the kakuma refugee camp have been stopped since 9 11 the program here has stopped indefinitely she's a child refugee of war you sure you're ready to take this on definitely the sudan civil war has been something that's been going on for 40 years and it's not because it's not in the news that it's not going on and this film maybe will tackle the issue with a different angle. Things in South Sudan are not, uh, not easy even today. My own brother was a lost boy, so it's very, very personal to us. And even Carrie, Reese's um, character, there are a lot of people who did that for them. A lot of people who gave up their homes, gave up their lives so that they can help these people assimilate or even have a better life in this country. We had to relieve the story, but uh, re relieve it to tell the story of the dead, to tell the stories of those who are still traumatized, because most people know only the physical injuries, but they don't know about the internal injuries that take lifetime. I had never been to a refugee camp before, but to see how they were living, and I think it was an important way to end the film, so that we knew we were carrying the torch for a lot of refugees out there in the world.